Hello, this is Julian with Julian Tech Reviews, back with another video. And today we are going to follow up on Goodlock. There has been an update in the Samsung store, as well as the Google Play Store for Goodlock. And we're going to talk about it. But before we do that, if you can like and subscribe to this channel, we'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you for all your support. And once again, do not forget to comment below. If you have any questions, I'll address them as needed. So let's get into Goodlock. So what's going on? So Samsung has sent an update in the Google Play Store and we have updated features. We're going to talk about two of the main features today. That'll be home up and then there'll be the clock face. So how do we access this? Well, let's go into the Galaxy Store and you can download GoodLock from the Galaxy Store if you have your Samsung with you. you just tap that and voila, there it is. However, as of today, Google has added GoodLock to the App Store. So if you don't have the Google Store installed or you don't like their bloatware, you can go into the Play Store right now and you can download it directly from the Google Play Store. And right now it says, I have early access to this app. So currently you may or may not see this in the Google Play Store. So depending on whether you either have a Samsung for a long time or not, I'm assuming that's why, but we're not going to uh, go into that because we're gonna talk about the features today. So let's talk about the Home Up app. So as we open up the Good Lock app, we have our various apps in here, but the first one we're going to talk about is the Home Up. So the Home Up app here is the application that helps improve your One UI interface on the home screen. So you have your various home screen, your folder, your backup and restore, your share manager, your task manager. So all these things can be updated. But first, in order for you to access this Home Up, you have to turn on the Home Up option here, which I've already done. And let's go into the home screen. So this is where you can update all of your home screen. And this is what it currently looks like. Okay, so if we go back here, the first thing we're gonna talk about is the app setting, the icon setting. So this is the new feature where you can change the size of your icons. This is what it currently looks like. This is the stock. So as you go back into uh, the home app, home up, you turn that on and the stock Samsung phone comes in at 100% icon size. So as you can see, nothing's changed here. And let's even look at my other apps right here. Awesome. But now you can increase the size of it. And this is what it looks like now. A little bit more jumbo, or you can decrease the size to make them really tiny, give you more room. So just a nice little feature to update your home screen. And then also you can show the app icon label on the home screen. So right now you can turn that off and this is what it looks like with no labels on there. And then you can also do the same thing with your app icon label. So right now you can see the uh, tray and it has all the names and labels, which could look a little clunky when you turn that off. And it looks a little bit more clean So just a nice, you know, feature to customize your app icons in the settings. That's once again, under the app icon setting down below. All right, next thing we're gonna talk about is the finder access. So this was added as well. So the finder access gives you total search capabilities of your entire phone. That means you can search for an app, you can search for a text message, you can search for a photo, within the, gal the gallery that you have in the Samsung phone. And you can search for anything in the Google or you know, Chrome or anything. However, the current stock, you have to go into your app icon tray and you have to access it this way. So that was kind of a two-step approach. Now with this Home Up app, you can actually go into the Finder access and then you can access it from your home screen by swiping down. So as you can see, I just swipe down in one fellow swoop. I can search anything on the app. You can also access that global uh, finder access through the app screen. So you go to the app screen, all the icons here. You can either go here to search or you can just swipe down and then voila, there it is. 
Me, I prefer to have only the app screens to show me the global access because it's already there. And I love to have my uh, notifications as a swipe down. So currently I have my notifications as a swipe down on the left side. And on the right side, I have my control uh, icons here. So you can also change that in good luck, but we're going to talk about that later. So the last thing we're going to talk about when it comes to uh, the home up is the loop pages. So you can also loop your pages so you'll have a consistent flow through all your pages on your home screen. But before you can do that, you have to make sure that you don't have uh, the Google Discovery or Samsung News turned on. Otherwise, it, will, it won't loop. So for instance, I'm trying to loop it. It does nothing is happening. So let's go ahead and turn that off for this thing. I like to keep mine on because I like to see the Google News. So we're going to turn it off. So now we can, as you see, it, it doesn't do anything. But now we're going to loop the pages. And voila, it's going through all the cycles of my pages. So if you like that feature, which I think is pretty cool, go ahead and change it in the Home Up app. I'm going to leave that on for now. All right, so that was Home Up. Let's go ahead and talk about the clock face interface, which is in good luck. So as you go back to your home screen, you have good luck here. And one thing before we to make sure you have like the latest update, you can either go right here to uh, update all or you can go to the home up section right here. And then you can go to the store where it's located and you can make sure that you have the latest update and then it'll tell you what's new. And you can see all the versions and all the updates giving us the customization that we need. So the one that we're going to talk about now is the clock face. So I'm going to go into back into good lock. I'm going to hit more on the side and I'm going to go to store. Make sure everything's updated and it is. And this is going to tell you what's new. So it's going to say it supports new fonts and it add added a weather icon. So let's go ahead and figure that out see what's all about so clock face another application within good lock so in clock face you have the option to update your clock face on your always on display slash lock screen however in this instance we're going to talk about the my clock so this is your personal customization of a clock created by you now currently this is what it looks like when it's on always on display and as you can see i have a gif already here I have the weather information the time and the date and then if I double tap here I'll have all of my <laughs> Lockstar uh, widgets everything including the clock face however for us to access this new update we're gonna have to go into the settings of our lock screen and we can do that by tapping and holding it until it asks you for your thumb fingerprint and as you can see, we have the settings here, so we can just go ahead and uh, tap tap that. Uh -huh. The clock, and then as you can see, this is where you can update it, and then it'll say show weather information. Now, stock, it doesn't have the stock, the stock version of the phone will not have this selected, so you're gonna have to go into the setting and select it yourself. All right, so as that's been selected, let's go ahead and go back to clock face. So let's just go ahead and play around in the clock face. So the first thing you wanna do is just hit that plus sign. And what we're gonna do is create a clock from scratch. So the first thing we're gonna do is update our clock. So what kind of clock do you want? Analog clock, which was already selected. You can change the color of the minute hand, the pin, in the middle, the index, and the background. That's awesome. 
Now we hit this plus sign. You can also scrap it too, so we can start from scratch. So if you want a digital clock, hit the digital, and then you can make your changes here. And this is what I did. So I'm gonna keep it blocked right here, and then I'm gonna change the format to military time or just standard time. And you can do it either vertical, diagonal, great. Then you can also add the following features. You can add either analog, digital, you can add the date, you can add text, motivational uh, words of encouragement. You can add images, GIFs, which is cool. And now with this update on Clockface, you can add the weather. So we're gonna go ahead and add the weather icon here. And as you can see, it's right here. And you can move it around. You can make it bigger, and then you can make it smaller, and then you can change the color. And you can change it to light and dark mode right here to follow the system's uh, color scheme. And then you can also add a GIF. So if you like to add the funny bunny here, there it is. But now you're looking at this clock update and you're looking at your customization and you have your clock hidden, which is weird. So in order for you to fix that, you're going to go to this sidebar right here and you're going to order how things are going to be uh, laid out. So if you want the GIF to be the last layer, you're going to have to hold it and then move it all the way back. And as you can see, the clock is shown back up. You can move the GIF around here and voila, you have the GIF and you have the clock and you have the weather. And then you can, you can tap to select where you're trying to move. So if I want to move the weather here, I can tap it and move it over here. So now I have it all arranged and let's say I want to add the date. So now I have the date and it's going to be within uh, the clock face in the GIF. And I want to make it bold so I can see, or I want to make it blue so I can stand out. And then hit download right here. And once again, you have a new interface of your clock. And this is where you can position it. And then you hit done. And then let's lock our phone. Now, as you can see on the always on display, it's there and the weather is there. And if we double tap to our Lockstar, it's still there, including our widgets that we added for Lockstar. Nice little update uh, from Google, uh, from Samsung, <laughs> not Google. So once again, these are just the two main updates, uh, the home up and the clock face. Go ahead and drop a comment below if you already know about this update. Um, and if not, you know, just let me know if you have any questions. Once again, this is Julian with Julian Tech Reviews. Now, please like and subscribe to the channel. And we thank you for your appreciate with your comments and your supports. Thank you.